Eruptions of steam, rock and mud sent visitors streaming across Yellowstone National Park on Tuesday. A frightening and confusing sight that even scientists struggled to understand or predict. Dramatic video shows the moment a hydrothermal explosion caused dark clouds to float in the air as guests ran for their lives. Such explosions are one of geology's most important and least understood hazards, wrote Lisa Morgan, research geologist emeritus at the U.S. Geological Survey, for the Yellowstone Caldera Chronicles, a publication of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. First, the good news. While unexpected geological activity in the park may seem like a harbinger of doom, an explosion in the Biscuit Basin thermal area is not a sign of an impending volcanic eruption, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. That's good news because Yellowstone is home to a supervolcano. Hydrothermal explosions occur when hot water in a volcanic system turns to steam in a limited area, Morgan wrote. A sudden drop in pressure causes rapid expansion of high-temperature fluid and an eruption that forms a crater. The explosion is a powerful and dramatic event that can reach a height of more than one mile and spew debris up to two and a half meters. Miles away, according to the observatory. Most hydrothermal explosions occur on a small scale and are not observed according to Michael Poland, the scientist in charge of the observatory. No one was killed or injured as a result of the hydrothermal explosion, although between exploding rock, mud and boiling water, you wouldn't want to be anywhere near it, he said. Tuesday's eruption in Yellowstone damaged pavement, but no one was injured. That's small compared to what could happen in Yellowstone, the USGS said on X, formerly known as Twitter. That doesn't mean it's not dramatic or very dangerous, but it clearly is. According to Poland, explosions can occur anywhere there is hydrothermal activity. Hydrothermal refers to hot water in the Earth's crust. Hydrothermal explosions occur several times a year in Yellowstone and other hot regions including New Zealand, Iceland and Chile, Poland said. The northeast region of Yellowstone Lake is home to three of the largest known hydrothermal explosion craters on Earth. Mary Bay, a mile and a half wide crater formed 13,000 years ago. Turbid Lake, a mile wide crater formed 9,400 years ago. And Elliott Crater, which is nearly half a mile wide and formed 8,000 years ago. Scientists are researching ways to predict these explosions, but some doubt it can be done, according to Poland. One of the things we don't fully know right now is whether these things are predictable, he said. That's still an open question. According to the observatory, an explosion large enough to leave a crater the size of a football field can occur every few hundred years. Some small explosions are triggered by seismic events such as earthquakes. Hydrothermal explosions are much more common than eruptions of lava or volcanic ash and unlike volcanic eruptions, hydrothermal explosions are not caused by magma rising to the Earth's surface, according to the USGS. Magma is extremely hot molten or semi-liquid rock found beneath the Earth's surface, especially in the mantle between the Earth's core and crust, according to National Geographic. When magma erupts from a volcano or flows from the Earth through cracks in the Earth's crust, lava is formed. 